గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ మై సెల్ఫ్ గోవర్ధన్ ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ వైజాగ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ మై క్వశ్చన్ వాస్ హౌ డూ పొలిటికల్ అడ్వర్టైజ్మెంట్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా యూజింగ్ మ్యూజిక్ అండ్ థీమ్ సాంగ్స్ టు ఎఫెక్టివ్లీ కమ్యూనికేట్ దేర్ మెసేజ్ టు బోత్ లిటరేట్స్ అండ్ లిటరేట్ ఆడియన్స్ సో మై ఫస్ట్ మెమరీ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఎలక్షన్ గోస్ బ్యాక్ టు నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ వన్ ఐ బీన్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ మై టైవ్ నాట్ బోర్న్ I was only 5 years old. So, I can imagine you are all a decade behind me. You're all a decade behind me, right? So, I'm ahead of you. You're not upset? So, I'm always ahead of you guys. So, uh, 1991 is my first election memory. So, memory is... that of Rajiv Gandhi's. He was my favorite person. So he used to come on TVs, but you, as you know, the election that time on TV was not that prevalent. But uh, he used to come on TV on and off. So sometimes I feel when I go to my constituency, some of the kids express their love to me. So uh, I, I can relate to it because that is how I uh, express love to my leader as early as 1991. So, but one of the fond memories of that time is that uh, of a song of rajiv ji that is one memory of uh, his that election had when we have had this balloons this balloons like uh, not the fat ones like pencil balloons tall ones so i remember i having it in my home with congress flag and congress symbols and all that and uh, the song was very impressive song that i remember even now that song the words from that song it says ni en janma bhoomi ni en hridaya thulip ende oru sapnangal kum ni en hridaya thulip that means you are my motherland uh, you are my heartbeat my dreams are dependent upon you so that song even today last in my mind i am a illiterate person then so i feel that should be the case with anyone in india that it has got a strong appeal especially in music is a strong vehicle subsequent elections you can see in my father's constituency this uh, uh, songs were there which i still remember many of them and in the bharat jodo yatra this uh, song parapalli there's a song in malayalam parapalli uh that song's tune was used throughout india in kannada they translated rest of the places i used to ask them to play that so i also walked along so when this song was played i also used to get that played so it has a very uh strong message that song because of that tune it was quite uh and striking so throughout india this uh song was played so songs have a big role to play and songs will continue to uh, play a role whether it is 91 whether it is 2020 or 24 or 2050 20 2100 uh it will all be same i believe so because songs have an emotional connect songs have, songs have an emotional appeal good evening sir i am surya from vayanad my question is what role does visual such as ads posters social media play in shaping the narrative of your campaign political camp no oh, nowadays visuals have a great role to play without visuals many of the elections would not have been won and uh, that has been case ever always it has been the case because leaders uh always put them selves in a place that uh, uh people see them how they want how the leaders want they will ensure that people get that so symbolism is always there and that space has increased now especially if you look at uh, 2019 elections the last we should remember is narendra modi sitting under a rock thing in badri badri nath so each leader will try to portray himself herself 
this election he was into Vivekananda Rao and sat there. So these visuals, they are trying to influence the public. And it may have effect, it may not have effect. 2019 it had an effect. 2024 no effect. Virtually on the uh, verge of losing the election this time. So, each time a leader tried to portray themselves, but it may succeed, it may not succeed, depends on the way it is communicated. But if you use same imagery or some imagery again and again, it will lose the value. So, there is a context and a pretext also for image. What is your action? There is an image being portrayed. People will evaluate your action also. That is very essential. Because I always portray myself as a good person. My photos, my uh, videos, everything is portraying myself as a good person. But my actions, which is in public, which is in public domain, doesn't correlate to my portrayal. Finally, it will catch up. Whether it is today or tomorrow. It's only a question of time. So your actions should speak louder than your uh, speech or even your photo. So it's all related. In that context, if you look at it, images have a role, videos have a role, advertisements have a role. But if you are not sincere enough, nothing matters. Good evening, sir. Uh मेरा नाम एबल सैम्यूल है मैं मुंबई से हूँ मेरा क्वेश्चन था आपसे कि विजुअल इमेजरी कैसा पॉलिटिकल इमेज इमेजरी को मतलब कंट्रीब्यूट करता है विजुअल इमेज नहीं मैं मैं उसी को अभी आंसर किया है विजुअल इमेजरी चाहिए लेकिन सिर्फ इमेजरी काफी है क्या सिर्फ इमेजरी से चलता नहीं है सब कुछ अपना काम भी बताता है चीज पांच साल में मैंने काम कुछ नहीं किया बिना काम करके मैं अच्छा अच्छा पोस्टर लगा दिया बोर्डिंग बोर्डिंग लगा दिया और बोलना शुरू कर दिया ये करो ये मैंने ये किया वो किया लोग मारेगा नहीं मारेगा तो इमेजरी चाहिए इमेजरी ठीक है लेकिन इमेजरी के अलावा आपका काम भी सही होना चाहिए आप कर आप काम करने वाला आदमी भी चाहिए होना चाहिए इसलिए दोनों एक साथ चलना पड़ेगा बिना काम का आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते Good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Aditya. Uh, I'm from Trandrum. So my question is: People are influenced by these social media platforms. So how do you manage to keep your social media accounts uh, in in this informative and impressive and deep? Oh, many times I'm managing uh, myself one of the accounts. Sometimes I manage both. Sometimes I use both as well as. Instagram I manage. Uh, I don't use much Twitter, which is a maybe a, a what do you say negative point for me currently. Because everyone is on Twitter now, but I don't use much Twitter, and I am more onto Facebook. So I've been using Facebook from 2007, so it's almost 17 years. But I think I have around 1.57 lakh followers. So it goes as per my uh, direction, maximum. But there are people who use it. Uh, मतलब they handle it. But mostly it is my uh, direction in which Facebook is going. And I don't believe in the concept of uh, you know uh, promotion in that sense. So I I have my own pace of doing. Good evening, sir. Myself, Nitish. I'm from Karnataka MP. At the election time, you are using both uh, hoardings and uh, this social media, right? Uh, what is the necessary of that? So, ah, uh, social media. Uh, now, I, when I analyze the elections of this country, each place has a different way of propagation. If you see it in Kerala, if you see it in Kerala, election is a festival. 
now we are having festival in our mandragad church each local place we have got temple churches all elections happen all uh, festivals happen similarly election is a festival of the state everyone is celebrating it you will see hoardings you will see posters you will see stickers you will see I, as i mentioned when i used to be a child there used to be balloons and uh, all that india used to be also like that but now that actually that festival spirit is limited to kerala i would say that and uh, rest of india i am sad like we don't have that same spirit if you go to karnataka during elections i was there two months you will never feel it is elections no flex or maybe no posters everything was banned i don't know what is not banned i went to up for the election uh, this rahul ji's constituency got police is taking away flags police is capturing banners hoardings they don't allow them to put up many things even the rules are similar throughout the country implementation is done on different scale so certain states you don't have posters at all in karnataka you were very in the election time bellari i came to bellari for this election i was there in bellari one day when with malayali cap people have went to campaign and i attended public rally the spirit is different you don't have that much votings and don't you think have you seen did you see my election tomorrow no. you will see when I, i won the election september 8 last year you, you were here no so it's a different atmosphere all the posters of all parties are there so kerala it's a different thing but you go to a different state it is different so why is it so because many places people don't even know who is a candidate i used to think who is a candidate how will i know we thought flexes we thought posters maybe some places flexes are there big hoardings are there big billboards are there but there is no uh what do you say that spirit i don't know, it differs unfortunately especially outside kerala kerala also the it's there but it is not rampant unfortunately in many of the states including south and north money is playing a part rather than awareness of the candidate rather than questioning who is the candidate how is he doing what is he proposing how can he implement what is his track record money is playing a part it's very clear that is why you don't have this why they don't put money into investing in uh, flex and posters because they feel it is waste of time don't you think why is it happening here because competition is there people every party wants to ensure that they are known to people that is happening through flexes and uh posters but um, along with that today social media is very important in kerala social media is playing a role social media has to play a role so social media also campaign is very strong so that is now throughout the country social media has become a, a important part there is no difference but throughout india irrespective of the state this whatsapp university is also come up where you just go on lying 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 make a lie a truth a truth a lie you can't differentiate what is true what what is lie you can't differentiate between villain and hero what they do now is they try to put some news on x or y for example x they put a news when they put a news on x then they ensure that a cyber attack is also happening a negative news comes along with the cyber attack that establish the truth this is how currently social media is working so 
we need flexors we need posters we need hoardings to know who is the candidate maybe some limitations can be placed but if you don't have flex you don't have posters you don't have board hoardings you will not have that atmosphere of election that is one fact along with it social media is relevant today so you need to have social media as well without social media we can't go ahead only thing is we need to have a fact checking machinery in place whether anyone can check and find out whether what is being spread in internet is correct or not or whatsapp is correct or not so that is what i would say about both uh, these uh, machine uh, mechanisms of propagation of correction please sir in sir i'm kevin from vellur tamil nadu uh, before i begin uh, congrats on your first term as a legislator in the kerala assembly so my question is this sir how much do political parties spend on average on ads and uh, visual branding also uh, can ca- youngsters start looking for jobs in the empla political parties uh, branding campaigns i i am i cannot speak for any any political party including mine because i don't know how much they spend what are they spending on but they have to spend naturally naturally the amount spent by bjp is quite higher than all other parties in the country so naturally uh, best place for youngster to get a job maybe with the bjp because they got the entire corporates backing them which may change any moment but uh, it it depends uh, so i cannot specifically say for which party how much they spend but huge amount is being spent by all but especially the rolling dispensation has huge uh, potential behind them so they might be spending a large amount and today youngsters have a scope in that you can still have a uh, scope in that i am harishan from kannur so my question is how do you think that trolls and memes are used in political campaign if so how i feel nowadays trolls are being used in a way of self propagation i troll myself so that i get propagated i'm not saying about me i'm sorry generally i feel that is how nowadays things are working some people create their own trolls so that they get publicity so what is the new uh, news negative news is also positive so positive news is also positive negative is also positive so you use negative and positive to become a leader so i think some of the trolls are being created especially the leader who was just one uh, he, he might have used this uh, mechanism for his advantage So even when your opponent is attacking you you are getting fame you are getting the uh, advantage so i feel trolls are also part of uh, some of the leaders uh, what do you say advertisement megaso they own megaso thank you hi sir this is prithvi i am from vaizag andhra pradesh sir firstly i am so grateful for your presence my question is about we are seeing from far past few years so many people are not using the roads especially nras or youth how can we make them understand the importance of the road of the road and what is the additional to this what is the role of this visual media in this situation no what is the most important thing in our all our lives but uh, we don't value it or some of us at least the youngsters or the new generation uh, they f- they have a negative mindset regarding the political system politicians and the uh, thing that system can't be. they all m- many of them not everyone but so they don't turn off for voting if you see big cities people don't vote and all those people who do vote also when they vote taking money then also they don't value their vote those who vote okay those who don't vote they're also you know they're not realizing the value of vote 
also those who vote taking money also don't realize the value of their vote so both are doing equal half those who do not vote also those who vote taking money effect this same because we have traded your right for some money for example one person takes 3000 or 5000 one family takes 5000 they don't understand they are making a politician a leader who may cost your life the decisions these people take may cost your life the decisions they may take may lead to a situation your money in hand becomes useless you can't go to the market because it is no value you just been demonetized what's the use of the money there was an informal economy in this country which kept the rural sectors or the poor people also without hunger that sector is completely gone so when you took the money and voted for the person who took the decision your cost your life your vote has cost you life so those who vote okay but those who don't vote those who vote taking money effect is see so vision media is a platform through which i don't know all of you are starting to be reporters or uh, what your in what is your uh, visual designing so you you should design things in such a manner where uh, people get to know value of their life get to know value of their vote get to know value of being indian i think being indian is the most important thing of a life because our country has not invaded any country in the world for last 7000 years ever since civilization has come to dawn we have never invaded anyone and we said everyone should stay happy loga samastha sugna bhavantu whether it is an enemy also you should also stay happy and entire world is one family no one has said before india so we should be proud of that but value we give to our citizen is not enough i think there should be our people's life should be more valued they should get uh, prominence in our society we are divided ourselves in various terms in caste creed race religion language nothing else everything is dividing us so you have to break those barriers so you should design things in a way in the when i don't know whether we will get that opportunity because each media is being controlled by their own interest each media is having their own interest they are being controlled by other interest so whether you will get that free hand in developing that system i don't know but still you should aspire you should promote you should aim to create a system where we realize our own value our country uh, is one of the well, is the greatest civilization in the world if you have that feeling and if you work towards that then we will all go for voting we will all respect our brothers and sisters where they belong to hindu muslim christian or if they speak kannada telugu hindi malayalam any language that then the difference is all gone because you are only indians just go out of this country just go to uk just go to canada just go, do you ask which state you come from they only ask where which which is your what's your country which country you belong to so we don't value it they don't value us but they grade us differently but we should value ourselves when we value ourselves other countries will value us what is the respect our people get in outside country i find it very some of not every every time but they don't give us the value we should we, re- we should receive because indians wherever they go they are harbingers of change they are brought in change look at pepsi ceo indira nu or anyone Vivek Ramaswamy, who is the uh, who ran for the president, he did win that. Or if you look at uh, Rishi Sunak, our community didn't stand with him, but it's a different matter due to political reasons. He became the prime minister. So we should value ourselves because we can bring about change. We have brought about change, and many of the things which India has donated or India has given has altered the way history is perceived, and. 
uh, one of the greatest politicians or political scientists you can say is Chanakya. How many of us know about Chanakya? You read a small part. How many of us know who is Chanakya? Raise hands. Who is Chanakya? One. Two. Nobody knows who is Chanakya? Apart from two, nobody knows who is Chanakya? You know Plato? Who is Math? More people know about Plato than Chanakya. Chanakya is one of the great... He is the person who invented chess. Do you know that? He is a scientist. He is not just a bull. He is not... Uh, he is a Raj Guru. Maybe the first Raj Guru of his order. That's why you read in newspapers Chanakyan or Chanakya. He invented chess. He had a great knowledge of various things. He is the one who deposed a king to make uh, Chandragupta Maidya the king of India. He deposed Dhananda. Uh, the, the, the Nanda dynasty was brought down by him and he installed Maurya dynasty. Basically, his father was killed or he was humiliated. He was humiliated. His father was killed or something like that. So, he took the vengeance by bringing Maurya wins a lower caste as the king. So, he is a scientist who has... You should read about it. You should. There is one Mr. Radha Krishna Pule. He has written a lot about Chanakya. Essay also I was reading on it. So, you should read about Chanakya. He which will help you in daily life. No, he's not only a politician, he helps you in daily life. So, we don't know about our country. We don't know about the, our value. Our country in 15th century was the richest in the world. British came to India like beggars. They couldn't even enter the Mughal emperor's uh, uh, chamber or the court without proper permission. They came like beggars and he wrote back. The envoy of the British king wrote back about the magnificence of the Mughal court. India was that rich. So in 15th century, India was like USA of the current world. But where have we reached? So, we should know about our value. We should know about history of our country. We should value ourselves. Our people should value ourselves. They should go out and vote and elect correct people so that India can be a superpower. Not to make the world a difficult place, but a better place. Even today, India's soft power is there throughout the world. No money can buy that. No armory or no military weapon can buy that. But India's soft power through yoga, through films, that is still there. But we need to empower our people, our poor people, so that we can become... Our people will come out of poverty. That's the biggest thing, no? So, what's the use? India is superpower. India has got nuclear. But our people don't find around the morsel of food. What's the point? No point. So, our people should come out of poverty. Our people should be respected. But for that, you should have a government who realizes the value of Indians. That would be my point. Good evening, sir. My name is Uday Mani. I come from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. My question for you is, as the current trend in India is advancing towards AI development, do you think AI can influence political visuals to promote government goals? Now, I am not an expert to govern on AI. Because I don't know what will be the impact of AI in our society. Uh, when computer came, we are all worried that it will take away jobs. But it, all, it resulted in the opposite. Raji Gandhi was a visionary. He implemented computers. When computers came, it actually helped uh, our software sector, our uh, all the uh, service sectors be benefited. And jobs increased. Now today AI comes, I don't know what will be its impact. Because uh, last day I was in Delhi 
we i asked the same similar question to the chief economic advisor of india he had come to for a speech so he said in india it won't affect our jobs because if ai is coming ai is implemented in the service sector or the it sector that sectors may suffer but in the other sectors a may not harm us but it may help in creating jobs so i can't exactly say what will be the impact unless and until we uh, we introduce it then see its impact and how it will affect our society so as of now the official version stands that it will only affect high end jobs maybe uh, i don't know what will be high end jobs but i let me let us assume it sector or maybe some service sectors but agriculture and other sectors may benefit from artificial intelligence that is uh, his view point so i i am not an expert to comment on artificial intelligence but i am wary of the situation where our poor people they are not getting jobs but that jobs is being done by ai then where will all our people go where will our poor people go at the cost of common man no uh technology should be implemented that is my stand if it is costing a poor person's life it's better not to implement in india you may implement it in any other country but in india if you implement it it will affect our economy it will affect the poor person where will the poor man go today msmes middle small as well as micro enterprises are suffering in our country because of the policies of the government it's not about one government governments it is suffering so we can't do more things to affect them so whatever is affected whatever is implemented whether it is ai or something post ai something comes you don't know what will come after that you don't know now we are saying ai post ai something else is coming ia is coming it should not affect our poor person so whether it is x y you said not at the cost of uh, our people it should be limited thankful to all of you because the energy can be seen in all of you all of your eyes are open and still concentrating on what sir is saying and thank you sir for your energy and for answering all our questions i hope your answers and your valuable ideas and thoughts will benefit this people because they are just started their preparation for their career this is the first month of their course and by the end of the course i think this things will be remembered again a uh, thank you for visiting us and wish that uh, you would visit us again we'll meet again thank you for inviting and waiting for me for a, such a long period or late be, uh, you know after being in late we waited such a long time thank you so much la samsagar best wishes to all of you Uh, may you emerge as uh, not just as a uh, content creator but content leaders that you create le- uh, such contents that it it would influence our country it would influence youngsters for their benefit because today many of the contents being created are for the creators purpose they create contents so that they get benefit or their ideology get benefits or their party get benefited so your aim and ideology should be that when you create something just remember what mahatma gandhi said with this content will it help the poorest of poor i've seen will it help anyway yeah or harm him so if you if it harms that poor person just remember if not today tomorrow this content will harm you also so whenever you create a content do it for the benefit of society benefit of poor benefit of the least of least when you do that one day it will come back that's called karma that karma will be there whether we believe it or not believe it it whatever is whatever you sow you reap that's called karma so when that karma calls you you should be able to answer that i did only the right thing so because our society is having what i said the university without any davariya uh, oh basis they create whatsapp university which creates content it's harming our society it's dividing our society it is killing people it is creating such 
a ruthless people who are willing to kill others so i request you when you get an opportunity to create a content you create such contents that it will benefit and not harm in any way when it doesn't harm it will also not harm you rather you will become a leader in that so be a content leader rather a content producer best wishes to you as well as your institute which is a different way of teaching which from which i have seen till now all the best